that light on? Um, we, we're, we're on now. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just enjoying I'm the AC. I'm tired. And this feels nice. It's one twenty-two, Almost one thirty. Yeah. Actually, one twenty-four, according to my watch. But still, it's late. Yeah. And I Would, had a long day at work. You wouldn't catch the earlier screening, but Actually, you can I only really make the about later. Thirteen hours. Another today. one, man. Jeez. Yeah. Your, worked, va- your paycheck. Your paycheck. Your paycheck will look fat at least. Well, not any more than usual, honestly. Mm. But no. Your usual freaking, paycheck is still pretty. Fat. I was, I was at the plant for a good five plus. Okay. You know what time I got to the movie? I didn't get back to the yard till about nine forty. Mm. You can say I left the plant around. I forget what time. I want to say a little before eight or something like Not that. Yet. I got there at three thirty. Oh, I was there for about five hours. Dandy, the predator. Talking about the Predator driving a truck, having a shitty truck driving job, you know, just... Well, you know, my day actually ties into this. Because can you imagine (laughs) what kind of long hours that I forget what his name was, but it was like Mick something... McCormick? McCormick. That wasn't his name. Something like... It was something like close to it. McKenna? Something like that. I don't know. McKenna. McKenna. Yeah, it was McKenna. Okay. Or something. We'll call him McKenna. <laughs> the long hours the McKenna as a military sniper puts into his job. Um, you're gonna look it up now, aren't you? Yes. Continue. Uh, anyway, uh, the Predator. Been looking forward to this one. Right out. The, right. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Right out of the gate. If you love the original Predator, if you love even Predator Two, do you even like AVP? I like the first AVP. All right. Um, the Predators. If you like the Predator series, you'll like this. It's good. It's a good, just fun, R-rated action movie. Not that crappy PG-13 they pushed on to us on uh, AVP. Still don't fucking understand why they did that. No film yeah, series. Yeah, that is a very odd choice. No there. film in any other franchise was ever I think they were trying PG-13. to gear it more towards, like, teenagers. Because the... I have to say, <laughs> as a former teenager... <laughs> um, as a recovering teenager... I uh, I was really into the AVP scene. Like I played a bunch of the Alien games yep. back then, a bunch of the Predator games. I love the fucking Alien versus Predator like actual video games. Yeah, yeah. I, I have I one of them myself. Yeah. AVP one and AVP two. I used to play multiplayer. I can't remember which all one time. I own. I own one of them for uh, 360, where you can play as either the Marine, the Alien, or the Predator. Oh, I think that was actually a different one. Well, it's, I still have that one. Yeah. That's a fun one to play as. Um, I don't know which one I like playing more. I've, the human, because you get all the different guns. The predator, because you're a fucking predator. Or being the alien is pretty cool, too. Um, regardless, though, this is what we were looking for. We had a good time. We had some minor gripes with it. Nothing serious. Um, I mean, I'm just going to wait on you here, but... um. No, sorry, I'm, I'm I'm just seeing a bunch of weird shit pop up around this movie where um we may have to talk about something. Here. Oh, we're talking about the Olivia Munn controversy with an actor who was actually a convicted sex uh, uh, sexual uh, not predator sex offender. Yeah. Okay, real quickly, there was a they actually because that scene's not in the movie. They took the scene out. Uh, Olivia Munn had done a scene with a man who, in the scene, was hitting on her. Uh, Shane Black, had, it, it was a friend of Shane Black's, and he'd given uh, the guy the job. Shane Black had given the guy the job, the director. Well, the guy is actually convicted convict, sex offender. I don't know the full logistics. I know it was basically trading inappropriate texts with an cu- underage cousin. So, there's that. Um, but yeah, still. Um... What happened though is she found out about it and she, no one knew. No one knew the guy who was a sex offender. Uh, including Olivia Munn who had done the scene with her and he was hitting on her in the scene. So, she, rightfully so, she felt uncomfortable with the scene. So she just, she asked like, look, no one told me this. This, this makes me feel really uncomfortable. 
please do something. If you could do something about it, please. And then, you know, she basically... So they took the scene out. And I, honestly, I don't think anyone... Uh, it's hard to say. Because um, he's, se- he's not a sexual predator. Like, he's not a rapist or anything like that. Yeah. He got convicted of uh, doing definitely some d- well, icky stuff. But. the hangover taught us anything, technically you can also get that by, you know, just... Walking out of a bar drunk and peeing on a that would be uh, uh, horrible. That, sorry, that'd be horrible bosses. Not oh, that, that was anymore. horrible. Bosses. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it had like a similar <laughs> kind of setup. Um, but point being, that's what happened with that. I, I mean, I completely am on Olivia Munn's side, but honestly, I don't fault uh, Shane Plack for trying to give his friend some work. Honestly, well, yeah. Plus, you know, if you had the whole sex offender thing, yeah, on, uh, your resume. Your, your, where you legally have to tell your boss, you're, regi- you're and registered stuff like sex that. Friend. You have to tell people you live near. To find a job's going to be difficult. Yeah, hey, you probably shouldn't have done whatever it is. Of course you not. Did. You're a sick fuck. It's a co- yeah. underage cousin, but still. Well, so I'm just kind of curious. Well, because the thing is, is I can find a little bit of gray area with some of that. Like underage cousin, was he? Hitting on the cousin. Apparently, or, there was there was a lot of text exchange. I think there might have been some pictures exchanged as well. Okay, was it him hanging out with his seventeen year old cousin, being like, "Oh, hey, look at the uh, booty on ah, this one." We don't know it was a seventeen. We just know it was underage. Well, yeah, but I'm extrapolating here. I don't know. The point is, it, uh, before we get in that whole controversy, it, it happened. So okay. predators. Um, you know what? This we've been going for about to six catch the minutes predator. now, and I think I've only smoked about two minutes of that talking about the predator. Look to catch the predator. <laughs> to catch a predator, you need a predator killer pre- catcher. I don't know. Is this a segue to the dude. <laughs> okay, I now want to see this on YouTube. <laughs> and I'm going to give a spoiler here. At the end of the movie, yeah. when they are unboxing the Predator Killer, I I want someone on YouTube to take that scene, like maybe how it should have ended or someone else, take that scene, edit it, so instead what comes out of that pod... Is the guys for Hello, them. why don't you just they, take a seat uh, over here? Just say, sir, were you aware that I'm the Chris people Hansen. You were, were you aware that the people you were hunting were only 15 years old? <laughs> uh, I see. It's, it, you're sure you're not. Because we have text confirming that you were aware of it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I used to actually be kind of. Well, I, it's not. It's more of a. You get, they, they make more like a snarl, not like because you're doing kind of more like the uh, the uh, kid from the grunge sound. <clears throat> you well, no, it's a little bit louder and higher pitch, but anyway, I'm, I'm, well, no, like I'm there's like an now. extended one that goes yeah. on. Oh no, they make a lot of sounds. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, one of the things that was really great about this movie is they use that R rating. That I haven't ever seen a movie that I could say they used the R rating. For uh, for a good while, probably since either the Happy Time Murders, which was a few weeks ago, or maybe even Logan, because Logan they use that R rating pretty effectively in Logan. The thing is with this, oddly enough, all, is all this, this feels very Holy solidly Holy. in all categories. Well, not almost all, <laughs> all categories, and about nine out of ten, an R rated movie. Yep, to the point where it almost feels natural the way like. A, the, lot a lot of the actors of the cursing and, and the characters and, and, and like some of the shit that gets said it's your pussy. and what you see happening on the screen. Like at one point, Key? Key, yeah. Key, Gimaki, yeah. Key, Gimaki, Key. Key gets his fucking stomach blown out. And, and uh, they're Thomas not Jane like, gets skewered up on a it's tree. It's not like you see a distance. You're no, you like, see right oh, through his fucking and stomach. Some, Blood fly up. No, he literally looks down and goes, Shit! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Granted, I have to say, with both of them, it almost kind of felt almost mildly comical of... Ah... Uh, For God's sake, I wanted to play... Don't worry, I'm feeling better. I wanted to play Whitney Houston there for which is... And I... We always love you. And then they shoot each other. I kind of want, I kind of want, just have that playing to her bit. 
Because they had a bit of a bromance. Honestly, <laughs> I kind of would. <gasps> I just died in your arms tonight. Well, you can't do that. You're not dying in their arms tonight. No one's dying That's in a tree. One's on the ground. It do doesn't matter. <laughs> it's uh, it's the meme of it. I know. Well, oh, fuck. What was the line that you and me just cracked the fuck? It's like, fuck me in the face with an aardvark. Was that it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, fuck at one point, an which I have some issues <laughs> with, like, travel in this movie. But I'll get back to that. So, at one point, they're at, uh, it is McKenna. Okay, yeah. They're at McKenna's house, and he has an RV, which they never establish, oh yeah, by the way, I have an RV. No, it's just, wait, where the fuck are, they? okay, I guess they're in RV now. Mm. Um, the movie has a lot of shit like that, but I'll yeah. get back to that later. But they're in the RV, and McKenna... And you can tell he doesn't live in some of the northern states. He's not living in California or anything. No, because he, he might granted, be. Granted, he might be somewhere he is in the military, northwest. Military, yeah. So he might get away with having an automatic weapon that is an assault rifle. <laughs> and he's just—he's in the RV talking to scientists. Freaking uh, one of the guys opens up the door and is coming in, and McKenna just whips around with the assault rifle and pointing it in his face and he's just like fuck me in the face with an hard bark no it was, you know, it was Thomas Jane because he was the one with the he's the one with Tourette's so he was the one who said fuck me in the face with an eat your pussy did you say eat my pussy no no I said you're, you're really bossy no I said it's really pushy really pushy really, really pushy. pushy really pushy it's like did you say eat my pussy <laughs> that was a whole weird scene oh, that was man. kind of fun because it in a very nice way it establishes the character. Well, also, did you know? notice that once we finally got to basically where those two ended up dying uh, when they were in the woods, he lost his Tourette's eventually? That that it was it, it was part of probably the trauma that whatever happened to him previously, and he lost I, even Yeah, I think it. that was part of it, and I think it was also kind of getting in that kind of mode and getting back to it. Because there was also a line at one point where, like, Key tosses him a gun, and he has the gun, and he's doing his thing, <laughs> and Key's like, welcome back, and he's like, I, I never, never left. left. Yeah. So I think that kind of ties in, and I also think, to some level, part, like, that's the thing I kind of debated with his character, is whether or not part of that was, like, partially just an act. Maybe. Because at one point, they use it to basically escape the prison bus. Yeah. They kind of use that kind of playing off yep. of each other. Uh, maybe. It's possible. I mean, I love because the, the loonies, as they're called, or the loons. I think it's the loonies. I loved loonies. every one of those fuckers. Oh, fuck <laughs> They it. were all just like, I want you all to live, and I know none of you are going to live except the main guy. <laughs> I, you argue one of them may have lived. Yeah. You argue one. But I... What was the line? Your speech was terrible. No, was, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. But, but he I, called me a pussy. No one calls me a pussy. I don't want to be a pussy. Uh, and he's like, you know, I don't, I guy eat, he, guys eating the white pickles. So I, liked your, I liked your speech. <laughs> and then freaking... Like, the two are just sitting on the couch. Then they're like, ah, all right, come on. And they just get up... <laughs> And hand her like the remote and all that shit. Like, I, I wanted to watch TV. I mean, <laughs> can, can I come back and watch TV with you? Oh man! Um, <laughs> at the sequence. I mean, obviously you see in the trailer. There's the normal predator. Even though they even revealed that predator's a bit of a hybrid too. He actually does have human DNA in him. Which I swear that the, normal predator you want to know is a little bit shorter. Than the ones like from the other movies. Actually, I, I thought he felt a little taller, honestly. Like when he's fucking everyone up in that lab, he looked pretty tall. Yeah, I guess. I don't and know. He had Gary Busey's son there for height comparison. He's a tall f motherfucker. Um, I don't even know what his name is right off the top of my head. No, he's another Busey. Uh, yeah, I he think got worse. J Busey. J, J Busey or something or like Jake. Jake J something James. like that. Hansel. 
Hansel. Hansel. Hansel Busey? <laughs> um, no, I'm, the one where the only other movie I can think of him being in Super Troopers. Was, oh no, the Starship Star Troopers. Troopers. Yeah. Um, ah, you know what? There's another one. Wildcats. He's in that one. Um, with I, it's it's a lousy comedy. Um, okay. Jake, it is Jake Busey. Um, Jake but um, but um, yeah, when we get the fights with the Predators and the Predators fucking people up, the Predators fuck people up. Okay, I feel as though we need to change that to the Predator and the other Predator because the both Predators pre- both aren't predators. running around tag team. There's only two pe- Predators. One is they they show uh, reveal is like a rogue Predator who stole something. From the super big fuck off predators that could kill them because well, apparently I don't think he stole it from the super big ones. I think he, they he stole it. it from his people to give and to humanity. The big predator just happens to be okay. Oh, we're this one we it. genetically engineered to be a little bit better, so we're gonna send him out kind of as a trial run yeah. to go take out this rogue element. And, I mean, so, yeah, when the shit hits the fan, shit fucking hits the... People get fucking sliced in half, blown their fucking stomachs out. Oh, there was that <laughs> one dude who he threw... Now, I used to remember the name for this thing, but it was that disc. Oh, fuck. Where you throw the disc it, and it comes back. Yeah, and then just, oh, then, okay, it, oh, fuck, why'd you, th- okay, it's gonna come out, because you're gonna have to catch it, you're gonna have to catch it, she just takes his arm off. Okay, let me see, let me see. <laughs> well, because there was no And, uh, and then, we, okay, techni- technically speaking, <clears throat> the, while the super predator is the bad guy, the other bad guy is this dick from the government, who is a terrible human being. <laughs> But the problem with him is... He's still charming. Well, yeah, there is that to where I kept going back and forth. I was like, but you're horrible. Up I until he you. said the thing about the kid. Yeah. But the problem I have with him is he is a bad guy. Doing something for a good reason. he has a good cause. Because they reveal that the big <clears throat> the super predators are going to possibly come and take over Earth due to climate change and just basically superheating the planet for their, you know, world. For oh, their, no, they're going to let us superheat yeah, they're super, with global basically, warming. Basically, they're, we're terraforming it for them. Yeah. Um, and that's why the Predator's bringing the Predator Killer, which we'll get to that end credit scene in a little and bit. And I think they also wanted, like, human DNA. Yeah, I mean, the DNA from all the best, uh, best species. Uh, the best specimens of the best species. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he basically wants it so he can protect the world. The problem is he's a terrible fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> well, I think I made this comparison earlier. It's kind of like Satan uh, was starting up like a puppy orphanage where it's like, wow, none shall hurt these a puppies. beautiful puppy orphanage. He's saving puppies. But at the same time, it's he's fucking Satan. Satan. And I, I mean, that might be a bit of an extreme comparison, but it's an apt comparison. He goes out in one of the dumbest fucking things I, I've ever seen. So it was kind of beautiful, yeah. and I think kind of goes to show that while we are studying Predator technology, we're not, we, we don't can't use know. Shit. And even then, what happens is I want to rewatch that scene at some point to see what exactly he does. What exactly he did, I think, and this is the way I saw it, because it happened really fucking quick. Which, um, it's a really quick tie, tie into that. There are a lot of scenes in this movie where either they don't do an establishing shot or show you what exactly this is or give you an idea of how much time has passed. Because they travel around a yeah, lot in this movie. Pretty quick. Where... When the Predator ship crashes, it seems like it crashes far fucking away. Mm -hmm. But, like, the pod is, like, right fucking over here in, let's say, Oregon or some shit. But, like, they're down in Mexico doing something. But then they're back up here doing something. And it just goes back and forth all over the place. Inconsistencies, definitely. But you have a lot of that and a lot of... Oh, yeah, they're... They suddenly have this thing. We don't establish it. Yeah, but... And... Okay. Like what you were saying where... 
like, I fucking lost exactly what I was going to say tying into, what were you saying? Basically, the way the asshole died. Oh, that's another thing is they don't. Like a lot of scenes where something happens, it just or like, like that. The problem I was having was with the subtitles. Yeah, like when the two predators are speaking to each other or something, they show subtitles, but it's really quick. Like they'll show the language and then they show exactly what they're saying over the language. Yeah, and it's just really. I mean, quick. I was able to pick it up, but I understand where you're getting from. Definitely, and like some of the action scenes are really like wait. What the fuck just happened yeah, here? Yeah, and basically, the way this asshole dies, basically, because they still have some predator technology, he's got a fucking shoulder cannon on it, and it moves with his head. And it, I am kind of curious where the shoulder cannon came It probably from. was uh, one of the leftovers from either the... It, it was a leftover from the predator that died. The, the predator that the other predator killed, that no, was a leftover. No, no, I think that might have been something they had from even before that. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, he moves his head, so he's firing at the predator, and he's like kind of laughing at one point as there one guy was um, Thomas Jane stabbing the predator that got set on fucking fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, but then he just turns his head, and it turns all the way and blows his fucking head off. Well, see, that's, <laughs> that's why I want to rewatch that scene to see if that's Pretty exactly sure what that's happened. What happened. Or if the other predator somehow took control of it, uh, I think I think he just fucked up. Is what happened. Yeah, because um, we don't have a lot of time. Is, I'm not yeah. quite sure. We don't have a lot of time left. Real quick, there's a there's kind of this like PSA for autism in the in the movie a little bit. Specifically Asperger's. Uh, Asperger's, but it doesn't matter because the kid blew a guy's fucking chest out and blew up his house with a predator helmet. I don't know. I don't know. I do, I there, fucking called one scene. There the is game, a though, couple with weird, the chess pieces. Yeah, but there's a couple other like weird little things. And they get a predator Overall, dog. Overall, I think the story is good. I enjoyed it. I wish it's there were fun, some it cameos. It is a fun time. Yeah, I that's the big thing. Is we gotta talk real quick about the predator killer at the end. Well, that's the thing is I wish there were some cameos in yeah. this, but also the fact that they almost go into some like cool action hero tropes. But then they don't, but then they do other cheesy fucking things. Yeah. Where it's like, that doesn't really quite fit. Because I've read a bunch of the comics yeah. and shit like that. So. I mean, but the end is, basically what the Predator gave to us is that armor that can kill the Predator. Attaches to, oddly enough, uh, it, Jake Busey's arm. It just looks like fucking... Iron... It's not the Iron, Iron Predator. Man, no, but, it, um, it'd be the Iron Predator armor, No, not Iron Man, the other one. Terminator? Warf... Well, a war machine. War machine. It looks like a war machine, but with a predator face. Yeah. And that's cool. That is that is cool for a crossover. But, but this is not. It's a little cheesy. It's just a tad. You, now, you if we went get, a little too now, far Now, if we with do that get one. a sequel to this, which I would like to see a sequel to this, I would at least like to see what that does in one scene. I won't Honestly, lie. Honestly, what I was kind of That'll wreck some shit. What I was kind of hoping for with that scene, and what I thought would have been cool, was it attaches itself to him, and then it rewrites his DNA, and, and turns, turns him, into, him into a predator. Or as and I suggested, you know, when Boyd, uh, Hoyd, uh, Boyd Holbrook says, like, that's my new suit, and then all of a sudden you just hear, fuck off, kid, it's my suit. And then you just see Arnold come in, just like, that would have been pretty sweet. Uh, okay, uh, but ultimately, not perfect. I think I'd go 8 out of 10. I think that's a good solid ranking. Maybe seven or eight. I would say maybe eight point five. Yeah, it's got some. Like, it's got some issues. It's but. almost up there around nine. I'm not. It's yeah. just a couple little things. Um, I would still really suggest seeing it, at least if nothing else, on a matinee. Yeah, uh, let's, we're gonna have to speed rush. I've only got a couple minutes left. Uh, Aquaman. Looking forward Same to that. Uh, not gonna talk about the Henry Cavill not being Superman shit, but whatever. Uh, yeah, no. he's. It's pretty almost confirmed he's gone as Superman. Isn't uh, Batman also gone at this pretty point? Pretty much. Uh, Creed 2. I love the first Creed. It's good. It, I'm down for it. Let's bring, give Sylvester Stallone more work. You're bring in Drago's kid. Going to be a good time. Um, Venom. We're down for Venom. Halloween. I, I, I have I was questions. Gonna, I was going to review it anyway, but I've had someone request it anyways. But I'm like, yeah, I'm going to review it when it comes out. I can't yeah. review it until it comes out, though. Uh, Hellfest, I have no interest for that movie whatsoever. I, it seems like Teen Scream, that's kind of dumb. Battle Alita Angel, or Battle Angel Alita. 
Yeah. I only had some minor effects issues, but otherwise, I'm interested. I in really enjoyed it. the fuck out of that. Um, um, oh yeah, I'm supposed to explain something to you with Battle Angel. Yeah, you can explain it to me afterwards. Yeah. Uh, and then last and not least, bad times at the El Royale. Which we got two, three fucking times. We finally got a full trailer the third goddamn time. Well, here's the thing. It with those trailers is I feel as though they're building up essentially. Yeah, the first two were building up way. from a diff 